Welcome back to the Auto Looks Tidbit Show. I am your host, as always, Mr. Everett J. And today we're taking a look at the world premiere of the brand new five passenger Grand Cherokee and Grand Cherokee 4xE. Yeah, it's 4xE, not 4XE. Now, a complete design review is available on our website, autolooks.net, where the new Grand Cherokee is split up into the new utility market and in the new EVs for electronic SUV products. Now, the Grand Cherokee is pinnacle point for the Jeep production line. They need it and they need to make profits off of it. It's one of those products that like the Grand Wagoneer that's coming in now, they got to make sure that this thing hits the mark on every single point. And they did that with the Grand Cherokee L earlier this year. They finally announced and to everyone around the world that they're going to make a seven passenger Grand Cherokee. Now this was a little weird considering the fact that they just released the Wagoneer and Grand Wagoneer into the world. Now, why would they have three vehicles with seven passenger capacity in their product line now? Well, they're all hitting different marks. The Grand Cherokee L hits the standard extended marketplace. The Wagoneer hits the extended premium marketplace. And the Grand Wagoneer hits that extended luxury marketplace going up against the likes of the Escalade and the Navigator. Now, Jeep needs this, and they need to go after that. Utilizing the Ram platform for the Wagoneer and Grand Wagoneer is great, but the brand new Grand Cherokee is something that they got to get out. they got to get it. They need it. It's a product that they need for their product line. They make tons of money off the Grand Cherokee, and it's a pinnacle of Jeep, just like the Wrangler. Now, right now, the brand new Trailhawk editions do come with two hooks on the front and one on the rear, which are great for off-roading capabilities. They do give them an, an adjustable off-road suspension, which allows you to conquer Moab. Now, they did showcase this in their video this morning, if you had seen it. But unfortunately, we take a stab at it as it does get a C- minus rating for us on an overall design proportion. Why? Because it still uses a little bit too much plastic and doesn't integrate the front air ducts properly. Now, all around, this vehicle is great and great to look at. And it is a little bit higher than any other full-size products within its marketplace currently. It does step above the competition. Now, when you move into the 4xE, just standard model, not the Trailhawk, you're moving up into a B minus category because of the added accessories and extra chrome features. This does give it a little bit more luxury appeal, something that we all want from the Grand Cherokee, similar to the old school limited models. The Grand Cherokee has stayed in line with their mainstay and the products that they love to build. This is a Jeep for the Jeep marketplace. And we are glad to see the new product is out and we are glad that it now has a seven passenger variation. So Jeep, we are glad you brought the new Grand Cherokee out. And even though you're getting a C plus, B minus rating, Autolux still says you're a step above the competition.